Hey guys, we're going to work on the Workforce 3640 again. Uh, it's the same thing as uh, WF 3620. I just have one more uh, paper tree. Hey guys, it's Abby here. So as you can see, I was trying to turn on this Epson 3640 and the LCD panel screen was not working. I powered the printer off and powered it back on and the screen still wouldn't work so I decided that I was gonna go ahead and uh, replace the screen so here I am doing the first thing that I got to do to be able to take that scanner off is take this fax cover off so it's gonna have two screws that I need to take and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the top two screws off on that scanner face in the back uh, one black screw there and one silver screw deep down once I do that I can remove that duplexer from the back and I'll pop off that uh, fax cover. Here is where I can go ahead and start to take off the wires, um, unscrew the ground wire, and take off that FFC cable, and then I can just kind of pop off, pivot off that uh, scanner for on the top of the printer. Then I'll take off uh, the seven screws and there's going to be one screw that's holding that hinge down and one screw under that hinge. So Once I get all the seven screws off, then I can go ahead and pop off that top cover. This is where the LCD panel is connected, so I can take that uh, wire off and undo that FFC cable, unscrew that ground wire that goes down into the main board, and then there'll be two screws holding that LCD panel, one on the left side and one on the right side. So once I pull that out, I can just kind of undo that wire um, that feeds through Oh. okay so here's where I found my problem my problem was with one of the pins on this FFC cable right in the middle there you can see it was bent down so that's why it was not reading correctly and the LCD panel was not responding to any kind of touch or any of the buttons working anything like that so here I am I just popped it open um, and I'm gonna disconnect that old FFC cable with a new FFC cable and I want to make sure that it's facing the same way so um, as you can kind of see that there's this writing lettering numbering um, that's going to face that inside which also if you just look down where the pins go you'll want the pins to be facing the, the correct way um, and as you see I didn't really take out the old FFC cable all the way this is where I kind of left it in because this was my first time replacing um, an FFC cable in a LCD panel so here I am just kind of trying to follow my way through with the old one as a guide so I still left that one in there and I didn't take that iron piece off I left that one um, glued down to that piece and I am feeding the new FFC cable through still leaving that old FFC cable taped down to that black piece to that back black piece and here I am just screwing that um, ground wire to hold it back together. Alright, and then at this point is where I kind of pulled off that old FFC cable because I saw where it folded back down over. And I'll just slide back on that iron piece. And so that's how I... Uh, and then I just followed my... I followed my procedure back, putting it back together of, you know, putting the... LCD panel back on, the two screws, the top cover, the seven screws, um, and the main board. And here I am just putting those fax covers back on and going to put the two top screws down in the scanner. Then I can go ahead and put that duplexer back in and then I'll just go ahead and plug this printer up 
and we'll turn it on to see if it works. So I got it to turn on and at this point it did work so the screen was working back together um, and after that I just realized that I needed to uh, format this printer to be a, a chipless printer so it ended up working correctly I hope you enjoyed this video visit us at www.bch.technologies.com or locally Greensboro North Carolina cheers